You know, I wasn't going to continue doing these evil bong reviews because the last one was kind of bad. It was literally a bunch of guys getting their jizz sucked out of them by bong monsters. But no, um, I decided to watch the next one called Ginger Dead Man vs. Evil Bong. And my God, it's worse than the last one. So, Ginger Dead Man vs. Evil Bong. It's the ultimate crossover movie. Produced and directed by Charles Band, starring John Patrick Jordan as Larnell. Barkman isn't back, guys. And neither is Brett or Alistair. They're just in flashback form. I guess the actors couldn't be bothered to come back for a bloody fourth Evil Bong movie, so. Yeah. Poor Barkman, man. I loved him. <laughs> but, um. Yeah, they're, they're basically gone now. And this movie, I guess, puts the ginger dead man up against E.B., a.k.a. Evil Bong. And I've never watched the ginger dead man movie, so I'm probably going to have to now to understand the actual movie. But I can't be bothered right now. I've already watched this movie, so who cares? It gives you enough like flashbacks to him anyway. And yeah. Um, this movie is very bad. It's got some terrible CGI. Some terrible acting and some terrible dialogue, but at least Larnell's still here. So let's actually talk about the plot, because the film starts with the ginger dead man sat at a beach and there's a bunch of topless women around him. And he says that he's getting a crust, which I guess is the gingerbread version of a boner. And we then get a title card sequence where they remove the epic weed song from the original movies and replaced it with sci-fi music. This music is nowhere near as good as that Wicked Weed song. Like, that's literally the name of it. It was like Wicked Weed. Yeah, I don't remember the actual song. I just remember that bit. But yeah, we then cut to a shop called Dick's Head Shop. Um, fun name. Where Larnell is working. And he's got this assistant who's basically a mix of Buckman and Rabbit. And this guy is named Tarzan. And he's got a really bloody annoying voice. And they're arguing over Larnell's bong business, and they then start smoking some weed together, so... I guess some things never change. Larnell's girlfriend, Velicity, who is the sciencey lady from the other movie that appears. And Tarzan is perving on her, and they then talk about the evil bong in a flashback, and Larnell talks about how they should make a movie about it, and they basically talk about the whole plot of the first movie. How E.B. is evil, it turns your desires against you, yada, yada, yada. And we we get our only view of Buckman in this scene. I miss Buckman so much. But yeah, we then get some crappy dialogue before they recap the second movie where they go in the jungle and battle King Bong. We also learn that Larnell's grandfather died. <laughs> so I guess we're not seeing him again. And we then get some more flashbacks, and this time to the third movie with the Space Bong. Tarzan then calls it BS and say that he doesn't know where his friends are. Um, so, yeah. Th they then say that they're glad that the evil bong is gone and Larnell acts very weird about it. And we then see that Larnell and Tarzan are just like going to work. So, um, Felicity just leaves. So, this, this next scene is just very weird, by the way. It takes up like 10 minutes of the movie. I just knocked my microphone. Apologies, but it takes up 10 minutes of the movie. Why? But yeah, so we see them at work and then these two guys come in and then say they're looking for a bong. And Arnell says that he doesn't sell bongs. He only sells water pipes, even though they're the same bloody thing. Unless like you're a weed connoisseur. I'm not really sure of the difference between a bong and like, you know, um, what I water pipe if you guys know the difference between a bong and a water pipe let me know in the comments below please because i don't because i'm not a crackhead but yeah so um it then starts playing some creepy music as larnell brings out this gas mask bong and he puts it over his head and then he holds the bottom with a lighter and then he just like tokes on the bong um so yeah uh <laughs> he then gives the guys some Bongs, and then this pig guy comes in, and he offers some merch, 
and Tarzan agrees, and then the random couple comes in and starts arguing in a different language. They take a picture of Tarzan, so Tarzan then walks them away, and the pig guy takes the guy's picture, and he's got massive teeth, and he then leaves. And the couple then starts arguing with each other as the dudes are getting more high. <laughs> we then cut to Tarzan having sold the two a load of stuff, and Larnell then learns that the two getting high scams him. So he has Tarzan make them leave. Larnell then goes into his office to a secret locked safe. And he takes out the evil bong. And Larnell is basically using the bong to try and figure out if he can use it for some good. Which of course he can't. It's in the name. It's an evil bong. Um, so he's just, he's just being an idiot basically. He then hears the door opening so as Tarzan returns with a... Switchblade covered in blood, so I guess he killed the guys. And then Rabbit randomly comes into the store, and he says he's turned his life around. And Larnell says he doesn't want to see him. Um, he then says that he doesn't want to talk about the other guys anymore. And Rabbit says that he'd be interested in what's in his case. So Rabbit opens it, and it's a bunch of merch for the evil bong. But Larnell says he's not interested, so Rabbit pulls out a cookie of the ginger dead man and starts eating it. And suddenly Larnell really wants the cookie. But Rabbit then just shoves it in his bloody mouth <laughs> and um, says he found the cookie at a local bakery. So Larnell decides he's going to go and get one. And he tells Rabbit to sit in the back room and he tells Tarzan to watch him. So Rabbit then says that um, he's just going to not cause any trouble basically. So Larnell's then just walking down the beach to the bakery and there's a guy trying to decide on a biscuit but he keeps like telling the lady to like go to the other biscuit just so that he can keep perving on her um, in typical evil bong fashion and the two girls then kick the guy out and they do a terminator reference and then they get a newspaper but when they read it they see stuff about the head of the bakery being a survivor of a serial killer and this is where we get some references to the ginger dead man movies which i haven't watched but yeah I'll get around to it since they've just been spoiled for me. But yeah, Larnell then comes in and the ginger dead man randomly appears and he gets one of the cookies. So we then cut back to Rabbit and he's in Larnell's office and he starts smoking some weed in Larnell's office. Which then gets Evie all excited and he starts to hear her. So he goes to the safe and he opens it. The code is 420, which I instantly guessed because haha, weed. Um, so he opens it and he finds Evie and she asks him to get her out of the safe. So he takes her out of the safe and she has an eye cover and a mouth gag. So he takes those off and then he smokes weed in the bong. You can see how like energetic I am with this movie. I, I, I love evil bong for King, what's got King Bong. Uh, buddy. Uh, ah, whatever. But yeah, um... Evil Bong versus Gingerbread Man, whatever it's called. I don't, I don't care anymore, okay? I just want it to be over with. But yeah, we then see the blonde girl who is working at the bakery with another employee who appears out of bloody nowhere. And they start making out in the back while the ginger dead man is just perving on them from above. They then get undressed and throw some flour on the table before they start to get down and dirty on the table. Where they make food! And the ginger dead man is still perving on the two that they just really become sweaty um, after just, you know, like two minutes of sex. So I, I guess it was the best sex ever. But yeah, um, the guy then just walks off. He's just like, no, i got to clean up quickly before the owner gets back. And that's not the only thing you need to clean up. You need to clean up your act. Why are you banging your girlfriend on the bloody table where you cook food? But yeah, she's a bit unhygienic. The guy then walks into a freezer and he gets an axe to the face while the blonde girl gets a screwdriver to the face, I think. Meanwhile, at the bong shop, Larnell and the lady from the shop arrive and Tarzan then appears and tells him that he has to talk to him about something really important. So Larnell ignores him because he's a stud, you know, he wants to get that girlfriend or the owner to be his girlfriend. I don't know her name. I think it was like Sarah or something. But yeah. So. <sighs> I'm getting so bored of this already. 
Lonel is then just ignoring Tarzan and he's showing the lady around the place and Lonel then um it gets a huge shock when Luan from the other movies randomly appears and her and the breakery owners breakery bakery owners start arguing and calling each other some very rude names. It rhymes with cut. So yeah, um they then just like are about to like throw down it, I guess, and Larnell has to jump in and he's just like, yo, well, no, no, get out. And then he literally just grabs Luan and just walks her out of the shop. It, that was the best part of the film. But yeah, um Larnell then talks about what happened to the other guys. Alistair made zero gravity toilets on a space station and Bachman and Brett apparently got married and moved to San Francisco. But yeah, Tarzan then finally tells him that Evie took Rabbit. And meanwhile, Tarzan gets jumped by the ginger dead man. And Larnell and the store owner then hide in the office, leaving Evie outside with the ginger dead man. Evie tries to manipulate the ginger dead man and tells him he needs to toke off her before he kills Larnell and the owner. So he tries knocking down the door. He then knocks over some of the door and then he gets karate kicked by Larnell. And the ginger dead man and both of them then toke on Evie and they get sucked inside. And the ginger dead man is like in this trial tribunal thing. And King Bong then appears out of bloody nowhere and the, him and the ginger dead man argue for a bit. Then a bunch of topless women appear out of bloody nowhere. And ginger dead man is captured by a tribunal. And then there's just a wall of tits and... <laughs> Larnell well, touches them, and yes, they moan. Meanwhile, the ginger dead man is having fun with the tribunal, and Larnell then realises that he needs Rabbit, so Rabbit then appears. Meanwhile, ginger dead man is found guilty by the tribunal, and Rabbit calls a bunch of topless women to bring out some, like, things of weed. And he also suddenly has a British accent, so... Wahoo, let's go Britain. New Prime Minister and all. But yeah, um... Rabbit then says he's mastered bong world and he just likes the bongs and weed and sex. Meanwhile, the ginger dead man is given one more change, ch change chance from the council or tribunal thing. And Larnell and the owner suddenly leave. So Rabbit brings out the ladies. <laughs> I'm just getting so sick of this man. Meanwhile, Larnell and the owner escape. Um, and they talk to each other, and Larnell walks her back to the store. The film ends with the ginger dead man smoking weed with Evie. No, smoking weed with Rabbit inside of Evie, and that's it. What is it called? Ginger dead man versus evil bong? They don't even fight, they just... They get along. Where's, where's like, the, the versus bit? What, the bit where they were arguing with each other earlier in the movie? That, that, what, that five, 30 second clip? I hate these films so much. But yeah, so Ginger Dead Man vs. Evil Bong. It's a film that revels in its absurdity. And it sucks. You know, Charles Band is a veteran of the B-horror crafts. Like a film that embraces its low-budget roots and delivers a piece of garbage horror comedy. The film's humour is literally just, ha, boobs. <laughs> look, 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 it's a boob. Uh, yeah, that's literally the entire bit of the movie. It features a killer gingerbread man and a sentient bong. And the film's ability to lean into its absurd premise is the only part of its charm. There's literally no one fun anymore. There's only Larnell. I miss Bachman so much. Larnell continues to offer a little bit of continuity for the fans, but that that's really it. The special effects are crap. Um, the practical effects are, are cool, I guess. Ultimately, this movie sucks. Um, it's a mashup that delivers exactly what it promises. Evil Bong versus Ginger Dead Man. Except it's like weird clickbait because it doesn't even have a fight. It's just them fucking, like, they're just talking for like two minutes and, and then that's it. That's the only time that they meet. It's just her going, oh, yeah, baby, C come on, come toke on me. And now you're just like, nah, I'm going to go kill them first. And she's like, nah, 
He got a toke on me first. That's it. That's it. That's, that's the only bit. That's, that's the only argument. They don't, they, don't, they, don't, they don't even fight. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think about Ginger Dead Man versus Evil Bong if you have seen the movie? If you haven't seen the movie, don't. Don't watch it. Save yourself. That's pretty much it for this video, though. Thank you for watching the videos. Please subscribe to the channel. I torture myself for these movies. Um, until next time, bye-bye.